Hello, everyone. Uh, it's it's really a pleasure to meet you all. So today we are meeting as an orientation session for the 2022 LBR Environment and NEPI virtual summer programs. So in this summer programs, as we have been discussing about different topics and different curriculums, I think a great question would be like, what is the right fit and uh, how they are categorized? So a little bit about that. So the introduction to bioinformatics program that we discussed uh, first is a beginner level program that has sessions designed to take you through uh, big data and then take you through the omics technologies. You'll learn about genomics, you'll learn about transcriptomics, and you'll have access to a lot of asynchronous material, which will make this a lot easier for you to learn at your own pace, at your own time, and at your own convenience. Uh, we will have live sessions uh, for queries, Q and A's, and we will also go through some specific case studies that will help you understand about a specific research. Um, may that be genomic research, that how it can be applied. So that's one of the key advantages of omics logic training. It's just not based on you know um, the uh, technology itself, but also the case studies and how it's applied for research. And uh, now, um, again, uh, the first program that I discussed and the second program, which will be on uh, data analysis, uh, biomedical data analysis using R and Python, is a, again a beginner level and an, also an intermediate level uh, training program. So for this uh, R and Python, uh, I mean, we need to understand that where this is applied and especially in the context of research. So you'll see a lot of publications published directly recent publications in Nature, Cell and Science and all the good journals that are out there, high impact journals, they use a lot of uh, visualization which are really compelling to look at. And also at the same time, one can understand that what this experiment is all about and how, uh, how can you actually visualize a huge amount of information into a small piece of, you know, I would say art. So this is where R and Python are really, really um, massively used. And uh, there is a lot of application, hence in bioinformatics and biological research. So it's a great program for beginner level who have not experienced this and have not been using this for their own publications, reports, and all of that uh, is, a, is a good fit. Now, um, the transcriptomics for chronic diseases, I mean, as Raghav said, transcriptomics uh, is a very important topic in today's uh, modern uh, era in biomedical research. So it is uh, the transcriptomics research is again a beginner and an also an intermediate level uh, training program, uh, which because I, all of these training programs have a very basic introduction that allows anyone from any background to actually learn about the topic. But obviously basic biology, molecular biology is something that we expect you to know a little bit. And uh, then uh, one of the biggest uh, you know, expectations that we will have if you're a beginner level is to complete the asynchronous coursework because they are, they are not just like any other courses. They are more like practical tutorials that will help you like to go through a case study that will help you to understand that how this is connected with the TV band for server and how can all of this can be conceptualized into a, you know, um, research into a research project. And that is what I wanted to discuss today in this session. Now the last um, level, which is, I would say an advanced level because you will have to work on a project and, uh, I think many of you who are thinking about the project has already some ideas in their mind. Um, maybe it's related to the uh, research that is ongoing or some of the new technologies that you're hearing about, or it could be about the lab that you're working in and you have some specific interests and specific ideas that you wanted to explore. So it's, it's an amazing, amazing program, uh, this research fellowship, I would say, because it's like an experience that takes you to use the high grade training research tools and then you get to do the hands-on analysis and then work on work and apply multi-omics data or any sort of data that is publicly available to these different research fields so it does not stop you to work on a very specific research field you can uh, have any of the research fields that that are out there that uses biological data and generate a research idea and work on that idea. But obviously uh, there is a requirement for you to 
know how to use the tbind for platform you don't know how to use r and python maybe for visualization you don't know also how do you come up with you know research um, question that is one of the biggest biggest uh, roadblocks to work on a research uh, uh, research project so i mean uh, this entire research uh, omics logic research training is uh, very well structured and uh, i would say this is very well structured because uh, we have been able to do this in a very short period of time considering people end up doing phd's and they end up doing working for a very long time to get some of the outcomes that we are getting in a very quick time and that is all because of the platform that is all because of the sim uh, because we are trying to simplify all of this uh, because this is also a complex way of you know uh, of uh, applying um, uh, and understanding how big data how this huge huge amount of information can be summarized and make meaningful information insights that really helps in translational research so big deal yeah so that's why we are what we are doing is that we have this basic coursework then we have these tools then we have the platform then we have this research specialization areas and we talked about special uh, case studies that anyone can go through and learn about a specific kind of research and then uh, the next the last step is to start working on your own idea generate results and interpretation work with a mentor work with us work with a team of um, um, collaborators or team of uh, team of experts and collaborators across the world so this is what the research fellowship pr training program is all about and obviously it guarantees some of the outcomes that we have been able to get through this sort of training that is that people are being able to highlight showcase and also get results uh, to uh, to a level that can be uh, a preprint that can be a poster presentation that can be a full uh, um, full publication so um, more about it to understand that how do we integrate all of this there is a there is a um, there are coll collaborators from our partner universities there are omics logic research fellows who are already in this community so we have a community of over 15000 people who are researchers who are students who are faculty who are from company and uh, it's really uh, good to have like a public profile on omics logic learn because what we are also doing is that connecting uh, research projects with interest in uh, research companies and companies who are startup companies who are in pharma so we also have a linkedin group where i keep on posting and where, where we keep on posting about these uh, job opportunities that are associated with a similar kind of training that you are uh, that, that you're getting from this sort of uh, experience now um, what we are working on in a regular basis is some of these uh, cutting edge and modern uh, research areas where uh, big data is used where biomedical information is used where clinical information is used where even lifestyle information is used so integration of all this data and for any sort of you know personalized care is precision medicine so uh, there are a lot of projects that we have prepared and worked with many students that specifically discussed about a certain problem so when it is about precision medicine then it becomes like really um, about individuals so if you think about in the context of an individual just just think about the think about the amount of opportunity that this field is going to produce because right now it's like one drug maybe fits a large and large uh, number of population maybe like maybe one drug is uh, looked at and given to a uh, entire country but uh, what we have seen and uh, what we have understood that due to these subtle changes that we discussed and understood in while we are learning about transcriptomics because we are comparing all of the uh, all of the sequencing and all of the reads that we get for gene expression and then we are looking at the genomics data and then we are looking at the epigenomics data and then the environmental fact factors that we are understanding from metagenomic data so it's it's really um, now uh, opening up all of those correlations that we were not able to see and we were just guessing so because of that there's a huge opportunity in population health and there's a lot of application in biotechnology and agriculture and there's uh, this new field called space omics so i can keep on like talking about this for hours and hours so this there's, there's not enough and there's so much is going on so these are some of the opportunities and 
also like um, uh, the projects that you saw there are some of the example projects that we have put together that helps anyone to understand that how this sort of research has been conducted because they are taken from peer re reviewed publications and as well as they are taken from data sets that are uh, available on uh, geo sra all the public repositories that are hosted on the uh, amazing uh, ncpi portal so uh, about the research, um, uh, the way we are trying to addressing a research, it's more data driven research. So um, when we are doing a hypothesis based research, uh, we have some sort of idea about how this uh, hypothesis of ours will be uh, like. Now, uh, when we are looking at this from a very different prospect, when we are looking at the data first and understanding that what this data can answer. So that's data driven research. And there is so much of data is, which is available out there. There is a lot of opportunity for research. So identifying gaps and, and finding those unanswered question, defining your uh, question. These are some of the things that we are helping as a mentor to the research community, to the participants who are joining the research fellowship program. And then there is a, there is a, a strict structure that enables us to track, to enables us to understand that how uh, idea can be you know structured into a research project can be structured into a you know a report can be structured into a publication so this all of this work goes on when one person joins the research fellowship and go through this entire process of introduction evaluation practice and then uh, communication is one of the biggest uh, key to uh, having a successful training out of this. So all those who have been communicating and coming to the meetings and having this profile that actually showcases like towards the end when you're completing your research, your project is also highlighted in your profile and uh, that enables any of the employers, any of the collaborators to know more about your research and, and reach out to you for the same. So uh, it's very simple to upload this. So we have a mechanism that enables any of the users to upload their own project once they're completed their project. And obviously there's a tracking system that enables us to understand that if you have reached a level where you can start a project or not. So the, the, the concept is to earn 10,000 points and 10,000 points can be easily earned when you start finishing the course and you start running pipelines on TBI and platform. And that will happen when we start the training program Programs. And before that, we are our, our objective is for you to go through the basic coursework that is available uh, for free. And then uh, we will be able to, you know, quickly uh, go through these different topics that we are talking about, exciting topics that we are talking, talking about, and you to make the most out, out of this training, out of this opportunity. So uh, some of the examples that we've been working and some of these uh, students have been able to publish, uh, able to complete these projects that involves, you know, working on different of these research areas, including space omics, um, and uh, its application and seeing how uh, it affects uh, astronaut astronauts health and uh, what are the different ways we can improve and then there are uh, like very uh, specific research which is uh, which is related to precision medicine uh, precision oncology and uh, very mechanistic related research so there is a lot of research ideas that we can work with uh, and working with already and uh, there are already available projects for those who do not have a research idea but would want to work on a research uh, research problem that that sort of opportunity is also there because of these collaborative projects so from you know different levels so we have high school students who, who are really inquisitive are into this have able to finish then we have postdoctoral fellows who are using this for some clinical study uh, then we have phd students and undergraduate and master students as well uh, completing and finishing these uh, coursework and the research project in a very short period of time so uh, i mean some of the recognition that people have get obviously uh, not just to go for a better university and better degree and all of that but also to win uh, prestigious prizes uh, science fairs and uh, also to be able to show this in our uh, omics research symposium that we do every two years and where we discuss, meet with all the experts in the industry, discuss about the recent, recent advancements and give an opportunity to our research fellows, a, a platform to our research fellows to showcase their research and get win prizes.
So that's all about the research part and how we are doing this research fellowship program and along with the other training programs, which would make sense because once you know about some of the specific training, you can easily apply this to a research project, which is also an option. And this is like mostly available throughout the year, but this is like a unique opportunity to work with us uh, within this uh, scope of this program. And also because uh, it's available at, uh, we are also providing a 50% scholarships uh, for those who are interested. So a great opportunity for the summer for all of you. And I hope that many of you would join and uh, start working with us in these specific areas of research, utilizing public repositories and public data and our own guidance and the platform and the community.